Hey guys, so today I want to make some improvements on the gray water tank that I did in a previous video. If you remember, this is what the gray water tank looked like. Uh, you know, one thing I, I did want to do is paint it black, definitely. Go ahead and paint it black, but another thing I have is I bought this electronic switch. So let me bring it up to you. That's what it looks like. So basically, uh, if you put 12 volts across this, it'll open the valve and then you could release uh, water. So I'll probably uh, put it onto this end so that uh, if I'm in a place where you know I, I could easily dump water on a dirt road or something like that, I could just push the switch in my car. I don't have to get out of my car and, and empty the water, you know, using this this cap. I could just push the switch, and if I'm on a dirt road, you know, it's okay. You know, we're not going to put any funky water. It's just kind of like the hand wash water and things like that. And uh, then I'll put it on, connect the, the switch, paint it black. And I also have a, a new way that I'm going to mount it underneath the car. Um, one, things that, one of the things I didn't like about my previous version is I, I drilled some holes. But that hole um, opened up uh, the air and then you know there's potential for the exhaust to come in. I wasn't smelling any exhaust, but I, I just don't want the potential for that. So. I cocked all the holes uh, up already so there, there's no longer any holes underneath. So I'm going to do the, the, the mounting purely outside of the car. I'm not going to uh, use any holes that I had before. And then we'll see how that goes. made it. Unfortunately this bit was a hair too big. I thought it was the perfect size. But it's a hair too big. This thing slides in and out a little bit too easy but that's okay because I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to fill it up with some cock and then it, it, it'll be fine. It, it'll hold in there. Alright so I did this cement and I did some caulking on top of the cement so if, if you could see it the caulking is, is drying off clear but then there's the blue cement on top of that so up next is painting. Alright I had just enough paint to do this gray water tank and I'm going to install it underneath the car. Let's go underneath. You can see it. Right there is my uh, pipe that I have. And you can see it. I now have a cover, a screw cover on that pipe, which will prevent exhaust from coming up and through while the motor is running. And you just unscrew it. and it exposes the pipe and then I'm going to install the gray water tank. Alright, slight change of plans. This is uh, my fault for not testing out that electronic switch before I installed it and glued everything together. Uh, the switch was failing. It wasn't, it was just dripping out. It wasn't really fully opening. So I just went with a mechanical switch and I had to cut the pipe and I figured while I was at it I would put this this elbow here and the elbow is sli slightly tilted downwards for better uh, drainage so I'm going to put it in here have a mechanical valve instead of the electronic valve and then I'm going to install this in. Alright so that's what it looks like underneath the car you can barely tell there's something there since I painted it black you know it blends in pretty well you can see the straps take a closer look here there's my uh, valve my release valve you can see that I have the straps just tied right there wraps around wraps around the body comes back a few times around this uh, tow hitch which I installed recently so that's why I'm able to put these straps here now that I wasn't able to do before 
comes back out, ratchets, and hooks into that frame right there. So it looks like it's it's going to be held in pretty tight. There's quite a few um, straps going back and forth, strap lines. I'm going to drive around like this for a while and test it out to make sure everything's good before I actually take it on a trip. All right, I put some water in there. So I'm going to test out this valve. Yeah, the release valve works fine. That'll be good. It closes and it seals. So I think I'm ready for my road test. All right, I took it for a short spin. Everything seems to be holding up just fine. I just wanted to give you a shot of what it looks like uh, if you are on the street and somebody's following you. Uh, you could uh, see the equipment down low, but it looks like it blends into the car really well. And, uh, and I'm only going to keep that gray water tank when I'm going camping. Uh, for the most part, it will not be there. So if some of you might be wondering you know, how long those straps are going to last, one year, two year tops, if it's out there 24-7 in the elements, um, it's just not going to be the case for me. I'm only going to have the gray water tank when I'm on a trip, which is, you know, couple of days uh, a year so it's not really going to be a big deal for the most part I'm going to have a cap on the uh, pipe <laughs> 